Kefo Wild Rhino Sanctuary is at the moment the largest rhino sanctuary rehabilitation center in the world. We rescue baby rhinos or injured rhinos and then we put them through rehabilitation phases, put them together in groups, make sure that the crushes work together and then release them as soon as we can. In short, it is rescue, rehabilitation and release. We're just getting ready to clean Lazuli's wounds and move him and Ribbon down to the bigger Bomas. If an orphan rhino arrives here, the first thing we will do is to make sure that it's okay. You know, you start with a normal medical procedure and you see, listen, let's have a look. Is there any wounds? Is he dehydrated? So we do a full medical check on him and make sure that he's comfortable and that he's almost a stable patient that we can work with. Orphan rhinos are not coming in because they're healthy. They come in because something happened to them. They lost their mom. They've been fighting for their lives. <laughs> Rhinos drink for 18 months from their mom. They stay with their mom for three years, sometimes longer if they cows. You think, okay, this process is a three-year quick process when they stop drinking of not being with mom anymore. It's not true. We sit already on eight years, nine years with some of these animals. We want them to eat. We want them to be comfortable. We want them to be fine one day, to be the runner they need to be. They're big. What we look at from Care for Wild's perspective is to save rhinos to start with, but not only rhinos. When we save rhinos and we protect the area that the rhinos are in, we protect everything that occurred in that area. We've got a number of layers in our security and it starts off with an ability to gather intelligence on poachers that are planning to come in. We have a very good fence system which protects the IPZ. It's electrified, well cleared. We have game scouts. Jump. We've got a mounted unit. We've got a canine unit with bite dogs, attack dogs, and tracking dogs. And then we have a reaction unit. To sometimes stand here and we have vegetable gardens and we have people, caretakers, and we have people helping us get the food to the Bomas, and to think that's community people. At the moment, we employ more than 230 people out of the communities as general conservation workers and they trained in fire management, trained to do fence management, alien invasive plant control and repairing of roads. Our long-term philosophy is to have communities involved at all levels, not only just recruiting people, but that they actually benefit from the outputs of a conservation which would be in many forms. It's a really in the case of care for wild and then also the well-being of the animal. It's a lot to do with hands-off. Let rhinos be rhinos. 
we're not in a petting zoo. They're not there for us to cuddle and hold all the time. The hands are extremely important in the reintroduction phases, in the rehabilitation phases. You have to teach people that these animals need to eventually go back into the wild. You know, every day with these runners are challenges. Every day we learn more. There's no textbook. Is it not our ultimate goal through our partners that trust us, that support us all the time to release them back into the wild? We can save them. Thank you.